What's up guys, it's uh, middle of March right now. Uh, this will be my first video of this year. And this video is going to be us putting on a flat deck on our old uh, 97 Ford F350. As you said, this is uh, Trail Tech, built in Saskatchewan. Nothing too fancy, price is good, so we picked her up. Looking good. Now let's go to the shop where I've been doing a little bit of body work to the Ford. Well, the frame of the Ford since the box is off. Do a little bit of painting. The old Ford. The beast. Looking beautiful. A little bit of rust on the cab. Nothing too bad though. Now we're just gonna weld the mounts on. Okay, right there. We have three mounts on the bottom. All of this is downward pressure anyway, so. But yeah, it's a eight foot by eight and a half foot box. just perfect for this truck. But yeah. I'll wait until we are put on, welded on, then I'll start filming again. Well, we uh, didn't quite get her all welded. Ran out of argon gas, so we gotta take that to get it refilled. And we... And uh, this is what it's, how it's gonna sit. We are gonna put something on the back here. So if we get a lot of weight in the back, it, will, it won't put stress on the front mounts by tipping it like that. Well, it's next, the next day. We went and got some acetyl or uh, argon for our welder. We finished welding on uh, the beer, I guess the cross members. Welded on the cross members and give it a little bit of paint. Just letting the paint dry right now, then we'll throw her onto the Ford. Get her bolted down. I also had to weld on uh, the mud flap brackets. Oh, 
Well, here's the Ford with the flat deck on it. Doing a little bit of filming right now since uh, my other cameras seem to uh, not film to how I would like it. The resolution was a bit iffy. So, but yeah, let's just take a look at uh, at the deck on. It's bolted onto uh, four places on the back since all of it's downward pr pressure, like right there and right at the back. There's four cross members going across. They get nice and solid when I move it. But yeah, depending how this video turns out, I might just keep using my phone or things like this and just use uh, my other camera on the tractor other places, but we'll see how it goes. And that's probably going to be the end of the video. Bye.